here's today's update. Didn't get too much done, but I got the whole other side of the bed done, so the, both sides of the bed are done. Um, I've kind of been messing with the exhaust to try to figure out how to do that, and uh, I'll show you guys what I came up with. Here's my exhaust. So here's the here's this side of the bed done. So we got both sides of the bed done. The only thing left that I kind of decided to do afterwards, you can see these uh these guts that are kind of flimsy, and I kind of ran into one with my welding cart, and I kind of don't like how thin they look anyway, so they need some support. But it does make the back look really cool. But what I'm going to do is uh take this piece of channel, weld it all the way up in there flush with this inside of this bar and then flush with this and run it all the way down see how it bends out but this this will make it all perfectly straight and it makes it look like thicker so I like that because I don't like how thin it is when you look at it from the side and then you know I'm worried about someone doing what I did and kicking it when it's all painted and done and fucking it up so yeah so this I'm gonna weld these in there I'm gonna cut them you know down the, all the way down here and then cut them at a at an angle and then that'll be good for those so the exhaust I was kind of messing with it here you can see I actually started cutting a hole out of the frame because like I told you guys I was gonna run it through the frame run it out run it back into here but um the more I looked at it the, the whole reason I even decided to do this exhaust through the frame from jump is because I didn't think I'd have that much room under there but now if you look at it, I don't know if I can get a camera view. But I've got a lot of room underneath there. A lot. I mean, I could fit like two exhaust pipes to stack on top of each other in there. So, And it's just a straight run right to there. So I think I'm just going to get some exhaust tubing and just uh, kind of maybe, I don't take some of that channel there and, you know, make a stud coming out and tack it to the frame and then just have it come out to uh, like maybe right here and then I'll have the exhaust I've already had the muffler in there and I'll actually just weld, hard weld the, the muffler right into that tube right there or to that, that uh, square stock then have it come to about here and then I'll just use that piece of flexi hose from there to there to connect it so when I need to pull my axle out I can just disconnect that and it'll come right out and then uh, I'm gonna go with the same concept here. This this last bumper piece down here on the bottom, I'm gonna cut four holes out and put uh, you know, tips in there, weld tips into there, and then just use that as the end. So it'll look exactly the same on the outside. It's just a thousand times easier, and I don't have to worry about all these bends and all this stuff, or and I don't have to worry about coming out here straight. So tomorrow I need to go to the welding store. And, see if they've got the tubing for the exhaust and that's uh pretty much it got the roof in there the beds coming together and then uh, i'm gonna start making i just want to get that exhaust in there to see where everything f goes and then i'm gonna start making these end pieces here and here and then just kind of make the frame and finish the bed up and get all that done. So all that should be done. What I got left is the exhaust. Figure that out. I've already welded pretty much, kind of welded this side out here underneath, around, stuff like that. I'm going to start, um, I guess, mounting the bed there on both sides. Weld all that stuff all the way around. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the bed. I'll make, you know, I'll make the cross members, make the front of the bed. Then I'll come back here and make the back of the bed coming down those tips. And then that should be it. The bed should be should be done. I just have to make that frame for it to sit in with the hinges in it. So that swings up and down. And that'll be it for that. I'm just uh I decided now at this point to just start. I was kind of mocking everything together as I went to try to get a good 
you know, feel for how it's going to look. But at this point, I just decided to start working and finishing stuff all the way back. So I should be able to finish this in a day or two, depending on my schedule. And um, then I can move on to starting a cab. I still have to mount like my my foot pedal in there, my brake booster, and um, just, you know, start body working at filling all the little rough spots and stuff like that. And I have to weld that other little piece in over there, finish a floor pan, um, finish a body mount, and uh, that's it. Support that roof inside. And then decide what I'm gonna do with this back window. I have to decide if I'm gonna make my own or kind of run with that. I don't know, it's kind of, it's kind of rough, the body is kind of rough, you can see it. I mean, it, it dips in too, so I don't know if I like that, but I might have to just run with it for time sake to get this thing on the road. And that's it. Both sides of the bed are done. And it's coming together. Thanks for watching.